Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. How is everything? Tell me, how are you today? Hi, good evening, teacher. I'm still driving to my home. All right, all right. That's okay. Try to be careful, you know, because uh, sometimes it's, it's dangerous, especially at night. You have to be careful with the driving. And uh, let me know when you get home, and that way you can participate. Well, actually, you can participate right, right now because we're going to be speaking, not writing anything. So you can be... Okay, just participating, all right? But be careful, okay? Just be careful. Okay, thanks. Yes. What about everybody else? How is everything? Marin, Rafael, Elizabeth, Mario is sick today. Mauricio and Eric, how are you guys? Good evening, I'm fine, thank you. All right, all right. What about everybody else? Is everything okay? Are you okay? For sure, I'm here. All right, how are you, Eric? How's everything? So far, so good. All right, that's good. That's good to know. That's good I to am know. tired. Really? I'm still tired. All right, I understand, I understand. Well, I'm letting you know right now that uh, my camera is going to be off because I do not feel good today. I feel uh, uh, kind of sick and uh, yeah, so my camera is going to be off, but I am going to be here 100%, okay? Yes, so I will need your participation as always because I am going to be here. Yes, maybe. Well, the camera is going to be off, but I am here 100%. All right? Okay, teacher. Yes, For thank sure. You. All right, all right. Yes. Let me see. Mauricio, how is everything, Mauricio? How are you today? Oh, today was busy because I had to, to find a new key for my car, but... Uh, and uh, I didn't, I didn't get that because it's too expensive, and I don't want to spend a lot of money just to have a like a click click, and, and I can I can use just the key, but but uh, I didn't I, I didn't get that the new key, and I started to work at seven seven a.m. and yeah. but I but I I woke up around five a.m. because. For the traffic, uh, I I live close to my job, but without traffic, I just spend around three or or five minutes. Um, but with the traffic, I I I spend around forty or or an, around an hour in the traffic. Is 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 very crazy. It's crazy. So so but uh, but for uh, and another things and I I had. Uh, angry customers. I had to handle different situation, and I got uh, many many bad service for my 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 processes. But uh, is that okay for me? Because it, it's my job, and I and and I don't have another option if I want to get money. So only that. All right. All right. Well, uh, are you taking the bus right now? Sorry. Are you taking the bus? No, no, no. I ha uh, my car is okay, but the like al alarm, like alarm is is bad because when I try to to open doesn't doesn't work. Okay. It's like a beep 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 beep, and uh, and 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 I try to get another another chip like that, uh, something like that. But it's too expensive, and I don't want to spend that money now. I'm safe okay. for for my my new clothes from December. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's it's. I think it's better to save money for December. You know. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Cause I need to 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 buy a new new shoes, a new new pants, a new t-shirt, or something like that, and, and, and drinks to 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 spend my time with my 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 brothers and my friends and. And I don't have enough money, and I uh, I don't have any issue with my car. I I use my car, but without without the chip, without the al alarm, the, like beep beep. Yeah, I but don't that's have not that. a that's no. not a big deal. That's not a big deal. You know, you can use your car. No, that's no, no. not a big deal. It's just like a minor minor problem. I mean, you can use your car, right? It's not yes. something that you. It's not something that requires a lot. Of, uh, well, it's not really necessary right now. You can. Wait. No, no, no. Yes, yes, go. Uh yes, cause the the other button uh works uh well uh just the the for for open the car is an issue, but I can use directly the key with the door. Yes, yes, of course. Yes. Okay. All right, that. all right. That's okay. That's okay. And I'm sorry you had like very bad or angry customers today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Sometimes, sometimes you have to go through that. Yes, it's. Part of the process, part of the job, you know. Yes, yes. You have, yes. You have to get, get deal with that, you know. They have a lot of problem with the Latin, and they told a lot of the a lot of things about us, but I don't have any problem. They don't take it personal, and I just try to do my best, and and only that. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you for that. All right, that's good. That's good. All right. Rafael, hello, Rafael. How are you today? It's been a while. Uh, we haven't heard, heard from you in a couple of days. What's going on? Uh, well, teacher, uh, I get the COVID. Uh, so oh, really? I'm on sick leave. Yep. When did you get it? On Sunday. On Sunday? Wow. Yeah, last Sunday. You've been Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It's, it's Thursday today. Almost and where Thursday. I feel better today. And where do you live to get it? <laughs> How did you get it? Uh, really, I don't know. Maybe uh, in the at supermarket or uh, in a mall, uh, whatever, whatever place. Possible, you know. And you get vaccinated? Yeah. Yep. Yep. I get How many do you get? Uh, three. Three, yeah, same yep. as me. I got three. Apparently, they are applying the fifth one now. Well, I'm not sure about that, but they are applying the fifth one now. I didn't, I get, I didn't, I didn't get the fourth one. So I, I just got three of them. But I didn't want to apply them. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. Yeah. And uh, well, luckily, luckily, I haven't gotten sick like a couple of years ago. Well, actually, last year, I got the the flu like five times. I mean, it is not normal to get it five times a year. I mean, it's normal to get it one or two times a year, but five or six times is not really normal. Uh, but after the 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 application of the vaccines, uh, well, actually, this year. I just got it once, I think, at the beginning of the year, and then I haven't got any anything like related to the to to nasal problems or throat problems. Yeah, I mean, I've I've got some uh, allergies because of the dust, but not not because of uh, the flu. Yeah. So you're not working, Rafael. You're you're enjoying vacations right now. <laughs> That's awesome. I'll start to work uh, today. Well, well, tomorrow at uh, the one thirty a.m. One thirty a.m. Yep, I work for uh, Spain and yes. England, and for England. All right. So I assist a customer for Xerox printers, and I work I work from one thirty a.m. to ten thirty. Is that every day, Rafael? Yep. Uh, wow. Business hours, uh, Monday to to Friday. Oh, I, I understand it. I understand it. Yeah, the the, the schedule, the, the hour is different. Uh, that's, you have to get used to that. 
my mother lives in Spain and she's been there for like more than 11 or 12 years. Uh, and uh, sometimes she calls me <laughs> in the middle of the night, like around midnight. And it's like already 8 or 9 a.m. over there in Spain. So it is different. The time is different. Yeah, it's different. We have eight hours. Yes, eight, eight hours. Eight, eight hours. Yes. Yes, eight hours. All right, Rafael. I'm, I'm sorry that you're sick, but I'm glad that you're getting better. But you sound better. You sound better. That's good. That's good. Yes. Luckily, you didn't get the, the, the Thank previous... You. Or you didn't get the prime uh, COVID-19 because that one was lethal, you know, was dangerous, lethal. A lot of people died because of it. But now it's it's weak. Yes, it's weak, so. Yes. All right. Excellent, excellent. Very good. Magdiel, hello, Magdiel. How is everything? How are you? I'm doing well, teacher, but I, I'm still driving. Yeah, you told me, right? You're driving, you're driving. You can still talk. Yeah. Sorry? <laughs> you can still talk, you know? Yeah. Tell me, how was your day? How how were you? Um my day was was okay. Um I'm so so busy, but I think it's it's normal. All right. It was normal. And how are you? Good, bad, more or less, tired? Uh, well, I'm well. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yes. Uh, I, I think the traffic, the traffic is, is, is more uh, um, tired uh, because of the traffic and drive, driving those chores. I think this is stressful. Yes, you're there. You're going to have. You're you're going home slowly. Cars are not moving. You get really stressed. You get angry. <laughs> you get moody. Yes. That's, that's really tedious. I gotta say. Yes, uh, when, when, the, least... when the car when the car uh, is a stop and can move. Yeah. Uh, this is stressful. It is stressful, yes. I know, I know. I have been there. This year, I have run into traffic a couple of times. I've spent hours waiting and waiting for the cars to move. They won't move. It's hard. Yeah, yeah. it's tedious. It's tedious. Traffic is, you know, stressful. You got to be very patient. All right. Emerson, how is everything? Thank you, Magdil. Be, be, be careful with the driving. How is everything, Emerson? How are you? Welcome. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Tell me. How was your day? Well, pretty good. Well, my day, uh, well, uh, normally this day I do the night shift, right? But I had to call uh, another co-worker. Yeah. And I had to log in today at six a.m. So, but but the good thing I log out at four p.m. Oh wow! But you know this is the, the the struggle to to get earlier from bed. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, I know. And what what time do you usually work at night? Well, I actually work uh uh. From 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, teacher, I have to get a call. Well, I'll be yeah, back. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Let me know. Yes. All right. All right. Katia, how are you, Katia? Good evening. Welcome to today's session. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I am so sorry for the this day of, of the week because I've been working uh, until at night because tomorrow I have a... Uh, uh, I don't know to to well to finish a project in in my company in my work. So <laughs> I've been working until late, very late, and now I am finishing that. <laughs> All right. That project, yeah. 
but I I feel that that I could. <laughs> ah well, and the Monday my work computer uh, dead. <laughs> oh in, Monday. In your computer. Yeah, <laughs> my laptop. I used the laptop. Uh huh. And, uh, die <laughs> when I was in the work, but On today Monday, it, it's, it's good. <laughs> yeah, but it was very hard for me to finish my work. Man, I understand that. That's really, really. I don't know how to say that, but when, when uh, you're, doing, when you're doing your your work or your job, and sometimes uh, technology fails you, and uh, it's it's yeah, yeah. And, it's, and especially Monday was was <laughs> was sorry, yeah, that yeah. makes it more harder. That makes it harder and difficult, you know. Yeah, and I spend all day, all Monday. Uh, waiting for my computer crack. <laughs> but I'm okay. <laughs> but okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's good. Yeah. That's good to know. That's good to know. I Thank was you. Telling, I was uh, yeah. telling you I was telling you earlier that my camera is off because I do not feel good today. Uh really I don't feel uh, uh very well. I mean mm -hmm. my motivation my motivation is still here uh but <laughs> but physically speaking i don't feel i don't feel okay yes i mean no. emotional emotionally i'm i'm, I'm okay emotionally <laughs> I'm, I'm okay psychologically i just don't feel uh good physically yes okay okay now i understand you <laughs> that's why my camera is off but i'm here like i said i'm one 100 here yes <laughs> all right yeah i understand you it is well, the, the day of the week. <laughs> yes. And it's late. Yeah. Sorry, I, I have a question. Uh, yes. How do you say cierre, but it's a account, uh, a counter? For, for example, cierre contable. How do you say that? I'm sorry? Uh, how do you say cierre contable? Mm, that depends on the on the context. The the uh, what you can say what you can say is closure, but this one the word closure can be taken in different uh, contexts. Closure mm -hmm. uh, it's like when you're ending a project, when you're ending a company, like you're closing the company for good, mm -hmm. whatever. Yes. Oh, okay. No, but uh, that is not the case. It's for example, every day I, I I do a a cierre. But it's a cierre contable, for example. Mm. So I, I don't know how to say cierre contable. <laughs> Accountable, I don't know. Closure. Probably, probably, uh, I cannot think of a word right now. You can say, I don't know, really. Because no, Okay. Are, yeah. I found something like that. I'm sorry? Please. And I found something like that is balance sheet. I was see. I'm I'm going to read. Which one? I'm going to read some. All right. Moment. Balance sheet. Balance sheet. I was see so, something like that. Yes. Oh well. Balance sheet. Uh, I've listened to yeah. that 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 word in, in my work. <laughs> but but sheet, I don't know. Yes, uh... it's like a. I was working as cashier around. Four years ago, and yes, oh. I based uh, investigated about it, and and mm -hmm. it's something like that. It's like a cierre de caja. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, yes, cierre oh. de caja. Well, I had some different things, but it's the same thing for a uh, a close to month or close the date or close the week mm -hmm. uh, or something like that. Uh huh. I understand. Okay. Okay. You well. Okay. If, if, okay. If, Thank you. <laughs> he says that that's the one that that is the one then <laughs> yes because honestly i do not know much about about accounting i i do know some vocabulary a balance sheet yes i do know some vocabulary related to accounting but if you tell me like if i know technical things about accounting i don't know yes because it's not really not really my profession i know a couple of words like uh Revenue, like assets, like liabilities, uh, balance sheet. This one, but in a different context. Yes, uh, like the statements. 
if you, if I go really really into accounting, I don't really know. You know, so it's complicated to understand a lot of things, a lot of concepts and terms that I don't really know. Even in Spanish, I don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand you. <laughs> it's uh, very, it's very specific the context and the words. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. You're right. You're right. Okay. Thank uh, you. Yes, I was doing some digging right now, and it says the accounting period close. Or accounting closing or accounting closure. Yes, but it, that sounds too literal. Sounds too literal to say that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Monthly close, it says here. Monthly close, like if it is a, if it is a monthly thing. Yes, yeah, mo monthly close, financial closing. Yes. Yeah, you actually you can say closure. You can say closure. I was I'm reading here and you can say closure. Yes. It's okay to say that. But it, it, it's better it says it that it's better to say monthly, monthly close. If it is if it is something that you do every month. Uh -huh, but in my case I do every day. <laughs> every single day. Okay, daily clo clo or closure or daily close. Okay. Okay, thank you. It has to be that. All right. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. I'm back. Yes. All right. All right. It's okay, Katya. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Uh, Marilyn, how is everything with you? I haven't heard from you since Tuesday, I think. That was the last time you participated. How are you, Marilyn? How's everything? How do you feel now? She's not available. Julissa, what about you? Welcome, Julissa. Good evening. How's everything? How are you? How are you? How are you? She's not there either. All right. What about you, Diego? Just got here. Hi, teacher. I am late. Sorry, but you I'm are, here. Yes, you are late. Tell me, how is everything? How do you feel today? How was your day? Good, teacher. I am. I had a good day. I did a lot of things, and I need more time in my job. But was it for today? All right. All right. And how do you feel? Good, bad, tired, sleepy, hungry? <laughs> I feel sleepy because I'm finishing to my, I finish. I, sorry. I did finish my food. I don't remember how do you say Senna. Dinner? Dinner, my dinner, sorry. All right. You just finished your dinner, right? That's good, that's good. That's good. You recovered energy. <laughs> All right, welcome, Diego. Thank you. And uh, Stephanie, how is everything, Stephanie? How are you today? Hello, good evening. Um, Everything is okay, thank you. How was your day? Good, <laughs> bad, are you... Uh... <laughs> Um, it was a good day because uh, I learned new things about my job and well, every day I learn new things and actually yesterday uh, some co-workers explained me some, uh, something and I used it today so it was a good day because I finished all the things that I have to do and yes, it was a good day. Thank you. You finished your university project? Yes. And uh, was it good? Yes, it was good because uh, the teachers um, didn't uh, tell us 
like this is wrong or something like that yes. just comments like uh you can improve this uh when you are in your fa final explanation you can say this or you can add this it was uh just good comments all right well i'm glad to hear that elizabeth yes. i know some projects are are difficult to do and uh, you, you don't really understand how to do them but I'm glad that you did it well and uh, your teacher was not really really well he was satisfied with it that's good yes yeah, thank you all right people thank you for showing up today for being here like i said today i am with my camera off because i don't feel good physically uh i mean i'm okay emotionally psychologically uh i'm happy but like physically speaking i feel i feel uh, weird bad i don't know but let me take attendance and then we're gonna do some review about yesterday's topic let's see diego josue benitez present teacher thank you elizabeth stephanie vasquez ramirez present thank you emerson alexander lopez present teacher thanks all right, uh, Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. I'm here in the house. Yes, all right, all right. Yulisa Amilet Villalta Villalta. Let's see, Carla Ivania Anaya. Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. That was unexpected. Katia Maria Gonzalez. Hi. Hello. Please follow us to Bar Ramos. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Thank you, Luis. Magdiel Esaú Garcia Morales. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Perez. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramirez. He's sick, he told us. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramirez. I'm here. Thank you. Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. Here. Thank you. Raúl Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. Ronald Alexander Vázquez Diego. All right, all right. Let's see what's going on over here. Okay. We are ready to start. Okay, we're gonna do some review about report speech. Yes, because that we're gonna continue working with that topic. Yes, Katia, I mean, uh, Carla, thank you, and uh, Mario through the chat. Thank you guys for writing a message from there. Yeah, I was telling you that we're gonna continue working with report, report speech maybe to, I'm, I'm not sure, maybe tomorrow or Monday, uh, because we got more things to cover. Yes. And uh, today we are gonna start off with the uh, with the review of report speech. Yes, I know it was kind of difficult to work with this yesterday because uh, there were uh, three different structures, so it was kind of confusing. And uh, well, let's do that right now. Let's begin with this: how to use report speech with negative imperatives. I told you that to form, to make a negative imperative, you use the auxiliary, the auxiliary don't, or the auxiliary do in the negative form. In this case, it's don't. As you see there, we have an example. Don't use your, your phone while driving. And uh, you can mention or you can come up with any negative imperative using the auxiliary don't. For example, we see these ones very often in the, in the banks, in the schools, uh, example, don't smoke like in the banks, don't smoke, right? Uh, in the banks, don't eat. You cannot eat in the banks, don't eat. Yes. 
uh in other places you can see like down 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 fish like if you're in a river or in a lake sometimes it's there not it says they're not no don't fish so those are negative imperatives yes and i was telling you that when you want to report those negative imperatives you use the word not use the word not for example right now look Dear speech, my friend says, don't make noise when a person is resting. Don't make noise when a person is resting. To report this, we're going to change the auxiliary don't to the word not. We're going to continue or we're going to stick with the negative form. Okay, that don't becomes not. The word not when you report it and that not goes right after the person the, the object pronoun or the person the object pronoun can be me can be you can be her him us them the people the doctor the engineer the secretary my mother my sister etc yes any person or any object pronoun can go right there look my friend advice the report speech or report a sentence. My friend advises me not to make noise when a person is resting. My friend advises me not. You see, the word not goes right after the object pronoun or the person. In this case, we're using the person or we're using me. Not to make noise when a person is resting. Yes. And then we have to use the preposition to. That's, that is like an obligation. You have to use the preposition. Yes, that's the preposition. It's pretty much when uh, grammatically speaking is mandatory, you have to use it. Yes. And uh, yesterday, some of you were making a mistake and that mistake is very common. And you were saying to not. To not. Be careful when you're reporting negative imperatives. We do not say, we do not say this. We say it the other way around, the other way around, and that way is not to, not to not, to not make, right, to not make noise, no, not to make noise. That is the correct grammar structure. Let's continue. Look, another example. The pastor says, don't be greedy. You know what greedy is? Let me know if you know. If you don't know, let me know. So the pastor says, that's the direct sentence or the direct speech. The pastor says, don't be greedy. Yes, don't be greedy. Oh, actually, the Bible no, says teacher, that. I don't know. You don't know what it is? No. It's a person that has a lot, but this person wants more and more and more, and this person is not satisfied. Yes. And it's not really good. Yes. For example, you have you have money, but you want more money. You want to keep having more and more and more until it becomes something negative. Yes. That's greedy. Greedy, greedy. Yes. Uh, let me see. In the chat, you can go and check it out over there. Hold on, give me a second. I got some allergy problem right now. Ah, uh, is that like Rico Macpato? Excuse me? Is like Rico Macpato. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the dog, right? <laughs> of course. All right. Yeah, yeah, that one, that one. It's it's bad to be greedy, you know. I mean, it's it's good to good if you want to have uh a few of something, a little of something, but not not you, you got to be satisfied in some point, you know. Yes, but sometimes we as humans we want more and more and more and more and it's not good. It's not good to be greedy. So report a, report a sentence or report a speech. The pastor advises us not to be greedy. Advises us not to be greedy. Yes. Look, 
the, the word not goes right after the person or the people. In this case, this is us. Yes, talking about a group of people or the ones that go to church. Yes. All right. Uh, now, look at this activity. Provide an example reported. What? Provide an example reported a negative imperative. No, that's not correct. <laughs> that's not right. This is what it is. Yes, there you go. Very, better. Okay, there you go. Guys, I'm going to give you a minute, just one minute, to create your own example. It can be like this one. I'm going to leave it like this. It can be like this one. You can uh, mention the negative imperative, and then you can mention how you report that negative imperative, okay? Yes, let's do an example exactly like this one. Yes, you mention the negative imperative and then you tell me or you report that negative imperative. All right, one minute, go ahead, go ahead, everyone, please work on this and then you're gonna share it with everybody here. Yes, you're gonna share it with everybody. Okay, people, let's share the example right now. Let's share the example. Let's see. Stop sharing. Okay, let's begin. Let me see Diego Josue. Give me your example. Hi, teacher. Sorry, I can't really do that. I'm doing a homework of the university. But what what's the activity? Sorry, sorry. The activity is to come up or to make or report a negative imperative. Uh, 
that is the homework that means the activity to report to report a negative imperative yes don't put your sorry yeah, sorry give me Yes, don't put your your dirty clothes on the floor. Mm, it's better to say don't leave. Don't leave your dirty clothes on the floor. Okay. And how and do you... I guess I have to to report that, right? Yes, yes. Uh... She asked asked mm -hmm. me not to leave my clothes on the floor, my dirty clothes on the floor. Okay. Yes. Yes. It is. It is correct. It is correct. Very good. Uh, very good, Diego. Excellent. Excellent. Well done. Okay. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. Let's see, Katya. What about you? Tell me or mention your example. Okay, teacher. I don't know if good, but <laughs> I uh, I will give you. It, for example, she instructed me not to keep quiet in the party. Come again, please. She instructed me not Instruct to keep quiet in the party. Instructed me, okay. Instructed. Yes. Repeat it. Not to. Not to what? Okay. Not to keep quiet in the party. Okay, not to keep <laughs> not to be quiet at the party, all right? <laughs> or to, be, to be friendly. Yeah. Party, yes, to talk with people. Okay, I understand. Thank you for the example. The example or the reporting sentence is correct. Yes, thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, let's see. Uh, Rafael, can you share your example, your reporting sentence? Yes. Uh, All right, thank you. Is the manager says then came late to work. Okay. And don't, the don't other come. one uh, yes, don't came late to work. Oh, don't come, come. Don't come, okay. Yes. And the other one is uh, the manager advised me not to come late to work. All right, all right, there you go, there you go. Yes, remember that came is the past form. Come. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, I'm sorry, it's yes, come. The report of sentence was perfect. Uh, Rafael, thank you for sharing it. Well done. Well done. Emerson, go ahead and share your example. Okay. Uh, the, the negative imperative is don't talk during the exam. Okay. And the report speech, uh, he told me not to talk during the exam. He told me? He told me not to talk during the exam. Yes, both are correct. The, the imperative is perfect and the reporting sentence is also perfect. Thank you, Emerson, for sharing. You did it very well. Okay. Mauricio, it's your turn. Tell us, tell us. Sorry, I'm in microphone. Well, um, don't be nice. Uh, I told her don't. I told her not to be nice. To be nice. Noisy. Noisy. Yes. Like you're trying to say ruidoso or ruidosa, right? Okay. Uh, don't be noisy. I told her not to be noisy. There you go, there you go, yes, yes. Don't be noisy, I told her not to be noisy. Very good, very good examples. Thank you for sharing them, Mauricio. You did it very well. Eric, go ahead, Eric, share your example, the reported sentence, the reported sentence and the, the imperative. For sure, uh, my... 
my sentence is my parents say say don't be unpunctual on your work and the uh, negative uh, is they told me to not be um on punctual on your work, but I'm not sure if it's correct my my answer. You said don't they told me they told me you said they told me to not. It's the other way around. They told me not to. Uh is upside down. So, uh, the other way around, yes. They told me not to be punctual, not to be uh unpunctual, right? <laughs> Uh, yes, in this case, uh, I can I can see the same verb. Don't change. Yes, yes, yes. But it has to be. Okay. It has to be not to. All right, not to. Not to. Okay. They told me not to be unpunctual on my job. Yes. Yes. There you go. Excellent. Thank you for okay. sharing the example. That was good. That was good. Let's Thank see. you. Please, Javier, what about you? Do you have your example? If you have it, share it. Luis Javier? Sorry, teacher, I will be listener. All right, all right. I didn't see the, the word listener in your name. That's why I thought you were available. Yes, all right. Let me see. Let me try with Julissa. Julissa, what about you? Do you have your example? If you have it, share it. I think she's unavailable. Okay, Elizabeth, what about you? If you have your example, share it. Okay. Yes. Um, don't make noise. The okay. librarian asks us not to make noise. Who? Oh, my what? The librarian. Oh, okay, the librarian. Okay. All right, all right. All right. Okay. okay, yes. Not to make noise. Very good, very good. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Uh, but I think, I think we, we got it. We got it. We know how to report negative imperatives now. It was a little difficult to do that yesterday since it was kind of new. Now that we know more about it, it's it's easier. And, uh, well, you guys did it very well. Let's uh, quickly review the other three structures that we practiced yesterday. Those were simple present uh, change into simple past, simple past change into past perfect, and the, uh, the modal verb will change into the modal verb would. We're going to see some examples of that. It's this, this, right? Uh, and yesterday we were saying or talking about report speech. And uh, we were specifically talking or uh, learning how to report just no questions. So we were learning how to report just no questions. And to report just no questions, we use two words. Those words that we use are if and whether. They basically mean the same. They basically mean the same if and whether. They mean the same. And right after these two words, either if or whether, we use a clause. The clause contains a subject, a verb, and a complement. Yes. Right after if, we need a sentence or a clause. And right after whether we did a sentence or a clause, which contains a subject, verb, and complement. And of course, we have to use the two reporting verbs. And the reporting verbs are ask and want to know. Yes, those are the ones. Look, I got it here. How to use report speech with just no questions? To report just no questions, we use the following reporting verbs. Ask and want to know. We use these two, all right? We use these two. We can use them either using simple present or simple past. You can use them either in simple present or in simple past. 
I mean that you can say ask and you can say asked, or you can say want, or you can say wanted. That's what I mean. Okay. Uh, the first structure that we're going to practice or review is simple present changing to simple past. Okay. As I've been telling you, we change, when we report, a simple present statement or a structure, a structure from simple present, when you report it, that simple present structure changes to simple past. It changes to simple past. Yes. For example, look at this. My friend, do we make, do we make noise when a person is resting? Do we make noise when a person is resting? We need, or well, when we report this type of questions, we are going to use the two reporting verbs, either ask or want to know, and we're going to use right after the person, like ask me or want to know, if, whether, plus the clause. All right, for example, well, I have two options here or two choices. I'm using wanted to know and if, and I'm using asking whether, yes, or you can do the, do the switch over there. For example, my friend wanted to know, look at that. My friend wanted to know if we made noise when a person is resting. My friend wanted, look, wants, wanted to know if we made it. In the question, in the question, we have the verb. We have the verb or the structure is in the simple present form or tense, as you can see. But since we are reporting here, reporting it down here, we use simple past. That means that the, the verb has to go in the past form. The verb make has to go in the past form. The other uh, choice or option is this one. My friend asked. It's the same thing, wanted to know or ask whether we made noise when a person is resting. It's basically the same thing. What I'm telling you or what I'm doing here that I'm using wanted to know with if and asked with whether. We can change this. I can say wanted to know whether or asked if. All right. We can do that too. Yes. Let's continue. More examples with simple present changing to simple past. My teacher, do you practice your English every day? Do you practice your English every day? Yes, this is still simple present. That means that if you report this question, you are going to do so using simple past or the structure of simple past. Basically, you are going to change the verb practice to the past form, and you're going to do it like this. Report speech. My teacher asked me whether I practice my, practiced my English every day, or my teacher wanted to know if I practiced my English every day. Yes. As you can see, I'm using ask and wanted to know. I'm using whether and I'm using if. Yes. What did I do here? Uh, the same, right? But you can do it, do it the other way around. I mean, you can say ask if. Hold on. You can say ask if, and you can say wanted to know. No, I wanted to know whether, right? You can do that too. Yes. And as you can see, what I'm changing here is the verb practice to the past form. It has to go in the past form. Look at it. Practice, practice. Yes. Okay, very good. There's one more example. Look at it. My spouse, are you happy with our new pet? Are you happy with our new pet? If you want to report that, you're going to change the verb into the past form. What is the verb here? Happy is not a verb with our new pet is not, well, none of that is a verb. The verb is the verb be. In this case, are. That means you're going to change the verb are to the past form. Like this. My sp spouse asked me whether I was happy. I was. Look, 
I was happy with our new pets. Or my spouse wanted to know if I was happy with our new pets. People, do you know what spouse is? Spouse? No. Any ideas? Uh, it's like, I don't know, sounds like synonym from husband. Yes, yes. But this one is for both. For a husband or for a wife. If you check, if you check your ID or your do in Spanish, you're going to see the word spouse's name. Uh, it, it directly means, I mean, in Spanish means, uh, what's the word? I forgot, I just forgot it. I had it, I had it in my mind. I forgot it. What's the word in Spanish? Wow. Uh, conjugate, that's, that's the word in I Spanish. Uh, yes. Okay. If you check, if you check the back of your door, you're going to see that your ID, right? The back of your ID, you're going to see the word spouse there. Yes. I think you haven't noticed, right? You haven't seen it. <laughs> it's there and you're doing. Check it out. You will see. <laughs> All right. Now, so we got the question in the simple present and we had the reported sentence in the past form. That's how it goes. So if you have a simple present sentence, it doesn't matter the structure. It can be affirmative. It can be negative and it can be a question. It doesn't matter what it is. When you report that simple present sentence or a statement or question, you're going to do it in the past form. Like I said, a verbally negative question. It always goes or you always report it using simple past. Yes. All right. Do you have any questions about simple past changing to simple? I'm sorry. About simple present changing to simple past. No questions? No, okay. That's okay. Not a problem. Now, look at this. Now we're changing structures. Look at this. We're dealing, we're dealing with or reviewing simple past, changing to past perfect. This structure gets a little bit more complicated because it's, it's longer and you have to know more about the verbs. I mean, every verb, every verb has five forms or five conjugations, right? The base form, past form, and past participle form. If you mention the other two, the ing form and the s form, right? Five conjugations. So in this one, you need to know, you need to know, I mean, you have to know the past participle form of the verb. It's easy to know the past participle form of the regular verbs, but it, it is challenging when you're dealing with irregular verbs because the form tends to be different from base form, past form, well, from base form to past participle form. Take a look. The boss, did she go to the meeting? The verb is not in the past. What we have in the past is the auxiliary, did. Did she go to the meeting? Yes, when you report this question, you're not going to report the auxiliary. You are going to report the verb. And that means that the verb go is going to go in the past participle form because we are using past perfect. So it will go like this, or it would go like this. The boss asked me, whether she had gone to the meeting, whether she had gone to the meeting, or my boss, my boss wanted to know if she had gone to the meeting. Yes. Remember, the past form of the verb go is went, and the past participle form is gone, right? And the structure for past perfect is the, the auxiliary had, for every subject or for all subjects, we use the same auxiliary had and we use the past participle form of the verb. Yes. So this is how it goes. She had, whether she had gone to the meeting or if she had 
gone to the meeting. Let's take a look at more examples. My uncle, was your dad calm after the accident? Was your dad calm after the accident? If you try to find the verb over here, we do not have a direct, a direct verb. I mean, we do have a verb, but the verb is not like the other ones. The verb in this case is the verb be. If you see the verb be, the only verb be that we have is was. Was. Your dad come after the accident. None of that is a verb. The verb is was. Now, what is the past participle form of the verb was? Well, that you have to know. You have to know the past participle form in order for you to report it. It goes like this. My uncle asked me whether my dad had been, look, had been, been is the past participle form of the verb be, was and were. So my uncle asked, asked me whether uh, my dad had been calm after the accident or my uncle wanted to know if my dad had been calm after the accident. Yes, had been. Another example, the president, did the population disagree with our final decision? Did the population disagree with our final decision? The verb that we have in the sentence is disagree. Disagree. This means that the verb disagree has to go in the past participle form in their reported sentence, like this. The president asked whether the population had disagreed with their final decision. Or the president, president wanted to know if the population had disagreed with their final decision. Had disagreed. Had disagreed. Yes, that's how it goes. Yes. Now, do you have any questions about simple past changing to past perfect, people? Tell me. Not teacher for not for a moment, but I think uh, we need more practice with that because it's a lot of difficult to me. Yes, it is, it is not difficult, like I said yesterday. And you're saying that right now. You need more practice. You need more practice. Yes. I didn't erase. I didn't change this. <laughs> I didn't change it. All right. So you have no questions. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. That's perfect. Yes. Now. The last one, the last one, the last structure is the uh, modal verb will change into would. Yes, this one is a lot easier in comparison with the other ones. My fiance, will you marry me? Will you marry me? Let's report it. My fiance, my fiance asked me whether I would marry him whether I would marry him or my fiance wanted to know if I would marry him. This one is, is easier in comparison with the other ones. I think this, the, the most difficult structure here is this one. This one. Yes. But this one will change it, change into would is, is very easy to understand. Because what you, what you do is you change the verb, I mean the auxiliary Will to wood, and that's pretty much it. Yes. Yeah. Wait, I didn't change this one either. Let me change it. I don't like it like that. There you go, and uh, wood. Okay, there you go. Save it. Okay, the example is, or the question is, the engineer, will the lab be open tomorrow? 
Will the lab be open tomorrow? The reporter sentence goes like this. The, the engineer asked me, asked me whether the lab would be open tomorrow or the engineer wanted to know if the lab would be open tomorrow. So would instead of will, yes. That's what we do, that's what we do. All right. Do you have any questions about this, people? No questions? All right, let's go back over here. Guys, do you have any questions? At the moment, no, but... I will try to make an example. Yes, right now. Everybody, hello, everybody. We're gonna start. We're gonna start. I'm going to uh, look. I'm sharing, or I brought back. I brought back the presentation to the first slide, where you can see simple, simple present, change into simple past. What I want you guys to start off with with this. Give me an example. What you can do is this. You can write the question, like the one that we have over here in red. You can write the question, any question. It doesn't matter what kind of question it is, as long as you're using simple present, it's okay. Yes. And then I want you guys to report that question like this. So I'm going to leave the slide for uh, a minute, one minute, for you guys to come up with your example. And then I need you guys to confirm that you have finished the example through the, through the Zoom chat. When you can say, is the work done? Like that, yes. Everybody, when you're done with the, with the example, and we're going to continue with the other, the other structure, okay? Because we, we have to, we're gonna provide one example per structure. So that means you're gonna have three examples at the end. Let's do that right now. Work on this one minute to do this one. One minute. Thank you, Rafael. Thank you. Thank you. Rafael is done. What about the rest?
Okay, next structure. This one. <clears throat> this one is simple past changing to past perfect. Write the question like this one or similar to this one with any subject, any verb, whatever you want and uh, report it. People, let me know, let me know. Rafael is done. What about everybody everybody else? What about everybody else? Okay, and the last structure is the following. Let me leave this one. This one sounds better. This one, this one. With the lobby open tomorrow, you can you you can uh write down whatever question you want and uh report it. Are you guys done with this one? Yes, teacher. All right. Start sharing it soon. Let's see. I volunteer to share, please. No. <laughs> Hello, people. Uh, I start sharing the sample with simple chat to change the Oh, no one the, the, using the simple pass uh, to change the password. Okay, the group page is it's uh, a, a person directly. Then, how excuse me? Emerson is talking. Oh, yes, but I cannot hear. I, I hear like a very, I don't know, but the, the, can I hear you? Emerson? Okay. 
Can you hear me clearly now? Yeah, I can hear you better now. Okay. Uh, I was saying that I was uh, share a uh, example from simple pass to change to pass perfect. Uh, the lyrics. The direct speech is, uh, he ate dinner before the movie started. And the reported speech, she said that he had eaten, eaten dinner before the movie had started. Can you please repeat it? Okay, direct speech. He ate dinner before the movie started. And the reported speech, she said that he had eaten dinner before the movie had started. Okay. Well, let me tell you that, that your example is correct, uh, but it's not what we're, what we're dealing with right now. We're dealing with questions. Oh, well, I got one. I got one using the wheel changing to wood. That's a question. Excuse me, I got another reaction right now. I, I had a, I had a, I had an example uh, using a question using the will changing to would. Yes, sure, please. Thank you. I'm sorry, I, I was coughing. Oh, okay. Uh, will, will you attend the meeting tomorrow? And the reported speech is... Uh, she asked if I would attend the meeting the next day. Yes, yes, correct, correct. Yes. Do you have the other example? Uh, well, I got this one. Have they visited the museum before the tour? And the reporter is, um, she asked if they had visited the museum before the tour. Okay, correct. I mean, you used uh, past perfect and then you reported it with past perfect. I mean, that is correct. That is correct. But you can also, uh, what we're doing right now is changing or reporting simple past. Simple past and being report, reported with uh, past perfect. But it is correct. Mm -hmm. What you did is correct. It's not a problem, yes. It's okay. not a problem. All right. Emerson, thank you for sharing. Let's continue. Uh, let me see. Magdiel, are you ready? No, teacher. Not yet. Not, not, not yet? Okay, that's okay. Let me see. What about you, Rafael? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, share, please. And the first one, the simple present to simple past. Uh, uh, the simple present. Uh, Michael Walker, okay. do you have your lunch after the meeting? And the simple mm -hmm. past, uh, Michael, Michael Walker wanted to know if I have my lunch after the meeting. Okay, all right. And the other ones? Uh, simple pass to pass perfect. Uh, uh, my mom, uh, did your brother did, did your brother go to the supermarket? And the pass perfect. And my mom wanted to know if my brother had gone to the supermarket. Okay. Yes. And the last one, uh, the will to will. Uh, yes. My friend, uh, will Tim go to the party tomorrow? And with the wool, my friend asks me if the team will go to the party tomorrow. Tomorrow, all right, all right. There you go. Okay, Rafael, excellent. You did it very well. Your examples were amazing and perfect. Thank you for sharing them. Let's continue. Elizabeth, are you ready? No, she is not. Okay. Let's see. Mauricio, are you ready? 
Um, no, I'm not. Uh, I got confused uh, with examples the time my my coworkers gave us. So I'm trying to resolve that. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Let me know later on. Eric. Yes, I'm. I'm. I make it. Perfect. Perfect. And the question is, my cousin, do you believe in mermaids? And mermaids, yes. And the first uh, speech is, the foreign speech is, my cousin asked me whether I believe, believe the believed in mermaids okay. and the 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 next is my cousin wanted to know if if i believed the mermaids yes it's okay yes. Yes, it is. okay that is all okay you only have one okay that's okay that's okay Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's continue with Katya. Katya, share your examples. Okay, teacher. Okay. Um, well, the first is the simple present to simple past. Yes. And uh, the question is, my friend, do we cook this Friday night? Um, the answer will be, my friend wanted to know if we cook it this Friday. Okay. On Friday, cooked on Friday. Cooked this Friday, okay, thank you. On, on Friday. Uh, ah, on Friday, okay. On this Friday. Exactly, exactly, oh. there you go. Ah, okay, okay, thank you. Okay, the next is the simple past to past perfect. Yes. The question is, my mother, did you go to the bed after English class? And the answer will be, my mother wanted to know if I had gone to bed after English class, English Perfect. class. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. And the last one, uh, will, <laughs> will to will. Uh, the question is, my sister, will my daddy be here tomorrow? And the answer is, my sister wanted to know if my daddy will be here tomorrow. Perfect, excellent. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing them, Katia. Let's continue with Thank the you. Article. Share them. I feel bad, people. <clears throat> yeah. uh, sorry, teacher. I haven't. Uh, I guess you told me. Right? I, I did. I didn't do. You told me you were you were doing some. Yes. yes. Yeah. Sorry, sir. Magdiel, what about you? Ready? If you have only one Maria, don't worry. Just share that one. I'm trying to understand this, but I, I have only one. Okay. Let me know if it's, it is okay. Oh, it's okay. Go ahead, share it. Share um, it. And present and, and simple past. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Uh, my wife, my wife, uh, are you ready <laughs> to go out? Okay. And the speech says, my wife asked me whether I was ready to go out. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. It's it okay. is perfect. It is perfect. Are you ready okay. to go out? I'm going I to continue. Know. I'm what? going to continue practicing, teacher. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Thank you Thanks. That. Yes. All right. Let's continue. Let's continue with uh, the class. And uh, over here, this is the beginning on page number 17. It's the beginning of unit number two. Yesterday, we were working on page number 20. Yes, this one. And uh, today, we're working on page number 17. And uh, maybe if we have time, we're going to work on page number 18. If we don't have time, we're going to continue with working with that tomorrow. <laughs> so unit number two, I will be able to look at this. 
I will be able to explain the most common issues related to product quality when shopping online. Yes, yes. All right, and uh, we got a couple of questions right here in the part number one. Let's start. Do you always read reviews? Look at that. <laughs> Do you always read reviews before buying a product from an online store? What do you do when you order when you order a product and receive something faulty or different from you from your order? Very two very good questions. Let's give an answer to them. <coughs> Wait, give me a second. I got some allergies. That's not good. So guys. The first question, do you always read reviews before buying a product from an online store? What can you say about this? Do you do that? Do you do it? Do you read reviews? Well, in my case, yes. Uh, for example, Marketplace show us about the uh, stars or, or a score that the seller has. And I try to check that, and I try to check some 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 items that the the, the about the previous sell previous things that the seller uh, sells. And um, sorry, marketplace really? Yes. Um, and I try to check that because for me it's very important to see if if the customer if the if the if the previous customer. Uh, got a gr a great experience or a bad experience, uh, <laughs> yes. or uh, it's probably uh, that situation gave me give me something about my experience in the future, and when the when the seller has just uh, one or two stars, uh, I prefer find another another option. All right, all right, okay, you do that. What about the rest? What about the rest, guys? What about you? Do you read reviews before you shop online or you buy things online? Yeah, actually, yeah, I do always a review from any kind of when I try when I doing shopping <laughs> window shopping in the in the websites. Yes, I was checking the reviews comments from that product. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yes. All right. What about the rest? Do you guys read reviews or comments about about what you're gonna buy? Okay, teacher. I compare the prices and the comments of the people that well, the reviews of the product that I want, and I I do a, a tracking of the comments. Of the yes. product. Okay. Okay. More opinion. I uh, I'm not impulsive <laughs> in so, in things like that. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> that's really good. What about the rest? What do you guys do? Do you read reviews, or do you just buy? Do you order? Do you just go for it and risk it. What do you do? Guys, more opinions. What do you do? <laughs> nothing, nothing. You know, in my opinion, I never read, I never, I never read comments or reviews about products when I when I uh, shop online. <clears throat> only, only when I go to a app store or a Google Play or Google Store, and I want to get an application or a game, I read the reviews. Only, only, and that kind of situation is when I do it. When I when I shop online, when I get things online, I don't really read the the reviews. I just buy the things 
Yes. Uh, I do make sure that the profile or the person is real, that it is not a scam, but I do not go to the comment section or the, the review section to, to read them. Yes, I only do it when I download applications or games. I read the, the, the reviews to see if the game is, is uh, good or if the application is good or if it works. Yes. <laughs> only then. But when I shop online, no. <laughs> I don't do it. Yes. And uh, we got a second question. I need more opinions, people. Come on. What do you do when you order a product and receive something faulty or different from your order? What do you do here in this kind of situation? Tell me, what do you do? Well, I think that uh, for that reason, it's very important to check the 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 scores or the or, or review the the comments about the exactly. the seller, uh, yeah. for to avoid that uh, to avoid that receive something falsely or or different order. But uh, yes, in my case, I try to 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 be sure about well, if I don't receive the the product that I want. Uh, can I uh, can I ask another products or can I receive my money back or something like that? And if the seller tell 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 me tell me something different, or no, we do not have that benefit, or we do not have that option for you, so I can say okay, thanks, but I don't I don't get the the products. Mm, but I I I made a mistake around two months ago because I uh, I bought a uh, I choose for my my sister. It, it was a, a, a gift, but the size is it was not was not good for my my sister, and I tried to change that. And the, the seller tell, told me no, that is a uh, the last size that we had. So and and I and I I I, I can't develop. I can um, give you the money back. And I I I I had to to get another option, and I I I sell I sold that that shoes and and buy another one for my sister, cause um I I I made my my I made that mistake. Um, did you lose but, did you lose money? No 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 I I I sold for the same price. Uh -huh. So yes, and I uh, I didn't uh, win and I earned and lost money just the flat. But you waste and time. <laughs> I waste time. Yes, and I didn't lose money, but uh, I um, bring my sister to I brought my sister to the shoe to the store to buy the the shoes, and my sister shows that uh another another and expensive shoes shoes <laughs> yes yes yeah okay perfect <laughs> it, it was a sur it, it was a surprise for you but it was a surprise it it it, it was a surprise for me because i spent more money than i expected yeah i understand i understand that yes, yes but uh, is that okay all right all right what about what about more opinions guys Thank you, Mauricio, for your opinion. Yes. What do you guys do when you when you get a defective product or when you don't get what you really order? Tell me. For me, uh, I make a claim with the platform with the platform where they purchase. For example, if if is. If... Sorry, Rafael. I can hear you. Got mute. Yes. Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Hello. I'm sorry. I mute. I muted you from. Uh, from I, I, I'm sorry. I clicked <laughs> on the wrong, <laughs> the wrong thing there. <laughs> I apologize. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm telling that uh, I make a claim with the platform or where I purchase. For example, if it's eBay or another one, and I write uh, directly to the seller to tell him that I received something different uh, from what I bought 
or if it uh, has a lower quality, and I request a refund. Do you get it? Yes, maybe delay one month or a bit more, but uh, yet I I get I get them. Yeah, the thing is that eBay and Amazon, well, all these these online stores were were how can I say this more? Well, they were free. I mean, with the sales and everything, it was not that that strict back then. In a couple of years ago, you could buy things, but if you did, if you didn't get what you wanted or what you were expecting to get, you couldn't uh, like send it back. And now you can do it. Now, if you want, you can sue sue anybody there, right? And they have to give you back your money or change the product. Yes, because so they they have more policies now. Yes, I think that uh, the day to do this because they have to take care uh, about the reputation. Exactly, exactly. You you have they have to take care of the reputation, their name, and everything. Their story. If you want, if they if they want to keep growing, they have to uh keep the reputation stable or or better, increase it. Because if they lose reputation, they won't be getting any more uh buyers or shoppers. Yes. All right, more opinions, people, about this one, about this question? <laughs> I don't know what's happening with me. I'm getting some allergies and everything. I told you I was not, I was not good physically. All right, then if you have no more, more questions, we're going to... Practice or review this conversation, this short conversation between Emily and Diego. It says there, Emily is telling Diego about an online order for shoes she just placed. Take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. Let me read it to you. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I get I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be careful when ordering online, when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, I but I got, uh, sorry, last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship back, ship the package back to get the right items. And I ended up being more, uh, sorry, I ended up being more expensive. It, sorry, it, it ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on that site, so I think made I made made a, a good choice with these shoes. I read I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know the the seller could po post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. That's what it is. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary, any verb, any expression, any word that you don't understand, or the pronunciation of them? It's time for you guys to let me know. Tell me, tell me. The last one is purchase, right? Purchase, purchase, purchase. Oh, okay. You may say it's purchase, purchase, but no, it's purchase, purchase. Purchase. Okay. What else? <laughs> no more questions okay let me read it again i'm going to do it slowly this time listen carefully uh listen to the pronunciation and if you have uh, a question later on let me know i just ordered a pair of shoes online they are very expensive in stores but i got an excellent deal online i can't even believe it you should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. And uh, it ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site. So I think I made a good choice with, this, uh, with these shoes. 
I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that the seller could the sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Yes, there you go. All right. Let's take turns practice the conversation for a couple of minutes. We have uh, around 20, well, not 18 minutes. Can I make this bigger? Let's see here. Got it. Give me a second. Sorry. Okay, let me see. Let me choose two people, Diego and uh, Elizabeth. Hey, Diego, is here, right? I'm, I'm here, teacher. Yes, and you, you are in the conversation, too. <laughs> ah. Yes, Elizabeth, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, Elizabeth, you are Emily, of course, and Diego is Diego. <laughs> okay, okay, sure. <laughs> Um, I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in the stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. Uh, you should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right, the right items. It ended, it ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of the positive reviews on the site, so I think I made a good choice with these shoes. I, I, read, I, I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Right. Thank you both for reading. Change, change the 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 the, the, the person. Okay. Diego, you start. Ah uh, yes. Um. With female voice, <laughs> no right. Oh. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not necessary. Don't worry. Okay. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an ex excellent deal online. I can even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the ground size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. Diego? Sorry, I was reading with my microphone off. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> it okay. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site, so I think I made a good choice with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you both of you for your participation. That was <laughs> sorry. That was really good. Excellent. Uh, let's carry on with two more people, Emerson uh, and Eric. You guys, the stage is yours. Okay. Um, I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They're very expensive in stores. But I got an excellent deal online. I can even can believe it. Eric? Yes. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. It ended up 
being more expensive? Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site. So I think I made a good ch choice with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers could post face reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues while your purchase, with your purchase. Excellent. Switch roles, please. Eric, you start, you're the first one, you're Emily, and Emerson, you're Diego. Okay. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got on an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of, of possible reviews on the site. So I think I made I made a good choice with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Right. Thank you both for reading. Excellent. Yes. Uh, I want to remind you of this verb over here. This verb is confusing sometimes. The verb read. And in this context, is red, not read, all right? Yes. And uh, why is it red? Because we're talking about or we're, well, what they're talking about, they're using simple past. They're talking the past, past things or things that happened a while ago. It says here last time I ordered. They started talking about past experience from here. From here on, you can see that everything is in the past. Yes, all of it. All right, so the pronunciation of read in the past is read. Yes, excellent. Thank you both, Eric and Emerson, for your participation. And let's continue. Let's see. Uh, I want to hear Katia and Mauricio. Okay. Okay, teacher. Katia, you're I, Emily? I am Emily. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay, I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time is like last time I ordered some some shirts, but I got a wrong size and colors. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. And then ended up being be, be more expensive. Be more expensive. Well, well, I read a lot of, of positive reviews on the site. So I think I made a good choice with the shows. Shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers could spot fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Switch roles. Okay. Okay. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to the to get the right items. I end up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on this side. So I think I made a good shoes with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to buy avoid any issues with your purchase. 
Thank you both for reading, Katia and Mauricio. Let's continue with the last ones. Uh, let me see. Those are Magdiel and uh, Rafael. Okay. Okay. Rafael, you are Emily, and uh, Magdiel, you are Diego. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an excellent de deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirt, but I got to the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. Uh, well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site, so I think I made a good choice with the with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go on a and a double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Okay, sweet switch. Call. Yes, thank you. Okay. I just I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in store, but I got a excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive well i read a lot of positive reviews on the site so i think i made a good choice with this shot choose i read a lot of reviews too but i didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews you may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with reports Perfect. Thank you both for your participation. People, thank you very much for also participating. <clears throat> uh, this is the last thing that we're going to do. Part three, fair word. Discuss the answers to the questions below. Three questions. What should, uh, what should you do before buying from an online store? What tips will you give to your partner or give your partner to avoid fake uh, reviews online? And uh, the last one is what can you do if you receive a if you receive damaged items from an online purchase. Let's see, the first one, I wanna hear your opinions. I think this one is more, uh, it's not like really, really related to the conversation, it's more like a discussion. So the first one, what, do you, uh, what should you do before buying from an online store? What can you say, guys? What can you say? Check the reviews from another uh, person who purchased. Okay, that's a good one. They're very good, very good. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, any more opinions? Uh, check the prices and and the products and compare uh, to another another sellers. Okay. All right. What else? Yes, in my case. In no. <laughs> Go ahead. Continue. <laughs> Continue. Ladies first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. For me, investigate the business on the social media. <laughs> All right. Yes, like a I... stalker. Do some so do some research with the uh, with seller and the social media. All right, that's a good one. Too. Yeah, yeah, like a stalker. <laughs> like a stalker, right? <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, you, it's okay to stalk. It's okay to stalk when when the when you when you when you want to buy something online, you have to do that. You have to you gotta do some research. I don't I don't do that. I don't do that. I just like like when I buy when I wanna buy something. 
online i just go to marketplace i type what I, for i type what I, for what i'm looking for and i just find the best the best price and i just ask for information i don't really like go through that but i do check the profile but i don't mm -hmm. go like to the review part and everything oh, okay <laughs> yes eric what, what can you say eric well in my case like my friend said uh, i will look for uh, information about the website or social media and review the the experiences than others uh, uh, people had had in this in this website with okay. the uh, the service yes that's it Okay, and it's okay, it's okay. Thank you for sharing that. What tips, the second one, what tips will you give your partner to avoid fake reviews online? Tell me. Who did you, sorry? The second question, what tips will you give your partner to avoid fake reviews online? Ah, uh, for example, um. How how can you know uh, if the the pu publish the publication? How do you say publication? Post. The post. Yes, sorry. Um, to know if the post is um, it's true, you have to um to see how many reviews um are there in this post. For example, it's different a post that is a qualified qualified by five stars with five reviews or another that is qualified by uh, four stars with uh, 2,000 reviews, for example. Yes. Yes, yeah. and that's a tip I, that I think it uh, is, um, I don't know, useful. Yes, useful. Yes, yes, it's okay. That's a, there's a big difference. There's a big difference, right? What else? What else? What more tips can you say? Okay. Uh, time time's up, people. Time's up. It's already ten o'clock. Yes, we're gonna continue working with the uh, page number eighteen tomorrow. There's some vocabulary that we have to learn and some per work we gotta do. Yes. But that will be for tomorrow. That we don't have more time. Now, do you have any questions, people? No, no teacher. All right, no questions. At the moment, no, but maybe tomorrow. <laughs> maybe tomorrow right right excellent that's okay it's it's okay all right let's see let me just uh update the, the attendance list and let me see oh no mauricio Edgardo, hello i'm here can you please stay yes yes Okay, thank you. Don't don't go. Okay, don't go. Yes. All right. Diego Josue Benitez. Present teacher. Thank you. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez. Present. Yes, thank you. Uh, Emerson Alexander Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you, Eric Enrique Reyes. Julissa Miller Villalta Villalta. We have Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Let me see. 
Luis Fabricio Tobar was not here today. Luis Javier Castillo. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Mario Ernesto Ramírez. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano. I'm here. Thank you. Rafael Alberto Herrera. Here. All right, excellent. Thank you everyone for always participating and for always joining the sessions. I know like I've, I've always told you it's hard to be here after working the whole day. I know you want to go to sleep. I know you want to rest. Maybe you you're not going to go sleep like right away. But it's psychologically speaking, you know, sometimes we're going to we're going to just watch some TV, listen to music, watch some videos on YouTube or some Yes, I know it's hard, but thank you guys for, for uh, always being here, all right? And, uh, well, tomorrow it's Friday. Be happy about it. You're going to be, you're going to have a weekend, yes, to, to, to rest, to recover uh, some energy, yes. So, guys, I will see you on, uh, tomorrow, Friday. Take, take care, all right? Be careful if you're driving. Be careful with anything you do, and I will see you tomorrow, all right? Be careful, and bye-bye. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night to everyone. Have a good night, guys. Thank you, teacher. I hope you feel better. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know what happened. Okay, Mauricio, uh, we still have some people over here. But I think they are sleeping. <laughs> Probably. That's possible. All right, Mauricio, uh, the reason I asked you to stay is to, to, to see if you have any questions, any confusion, or any, well, any, any questions about the topics that we have seen or anything related to English, grammar topics, vocabulary, expressions, or anything that you might be confused about, I'm here, let me know. I um, just have a concern about the test that, that, that we have in, in the plain front, because uh, I think that I, 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 I do my best, but the, the, the test doesn't receive that that the same the same answer, and I tried to do a lot of times, but I made the same mistake. Can I share Tell my which screen? One, which one it is? Which one is it? Yes. Can I share my screen? Oh yes. Let me see if you can do it. Let me see if you can do it. Yes, you can do it. Go ahead. I don't know if you can see now. No. Uh, okay. I don't see um, anything. Y yes, I'm, I'm, I'm doing that. Now, okay. well, I'm I trying to, it. yes, I got the same thing in the answer number one and number three, but I don't know what happened because I'm um, trying a lot of form, but uh, I didn't get the, the right. Keep going, keep, keep going straight. Okay. So um, I I have the the the. How do you say that? Mm, the the option that I tried it, but I didn't get. Yes, you have to uh, change the you have to change the verb to the past form. Remember. Yes. For example, uh, big uh, big online store paid. Uh -huh. Tra 
Roasted Brands. Uh, roasted Brands uh, had a strong reputation. Exactly. Uh, had. Okay. Yes. Had. Don't forget the period at the end. Okay, repetition. Well, I can. Uh, I'm going to try with the uh, use one. No. Still wrong. Oh, stores. No. Stores. With S. Oh. Okay. Oh, now it's okay. Okay, perfect. Yes. Our friend said the uh, offers. Uh, that that. I don't know. Is that okay now? Uh, they they offers that were too good to be through might be a scam. I think I think the first word is not supposed to be changed. I mean, uh, are don't change the verb are. Leave it like that. Like are don't change it to were. And uh, you're just changing the the the, the modal verb may to might. Try now. No. My friend said the um, no offers offer the offers. Offers. No, no, the. Uh, I need to remove it. Yeah, I remove it now. And there is double Wait. space. There's double space. Wait, still wrong. Yes. Okay. There you no, go. No, roll is okay. Yes. Okay, okay. now it's okay. That yes, it's 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 a little uh, uh a little confused, but thanks for your your help. No, if you if you don't worry about it. If you take a look the other exercise, uh not that one, it's the the the, the second unit. The second unit. Okay. No, go to the next unit. I think it's yes. the, the number the, the first one. That one? Yes. If you take a look, that one includes the negative, the negative, uh, well, affirmative imperatives, negative imperatives. And if you continue scrolling down, going down there, you're going to find questions as well. All of it, all of it at once. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. The, I'm going to resolve that. It's going to be more complicated. Yes. Yes, yeah, probably got the, 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 this plain part. Is not very or 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 doesn't receive another answer. Yes, just the the, the the answer. Uh -huh, yes, yes. I had that problem when I was in the in the uh, basic, but yes. All right. Te voy a decir algo en español. Cuando yes. cuando empecé aquí en 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 inglés corporativo me dijeron, yes. eh, mira quedaste, pero fíjate que tenemos un plan ahorita que es el de El de, el de pre-intermedio 5. Y yo, vaya, yo escuché intermedio. Y, va, la soca. Y yo, va, está bien, no te preocupes. Pero, o sea, desde el momento que era un pre-intermedio, era un básico, pues. Y yo como que no me sentía muy a gusto. Easy, y volví right? a ser... Yes, <laughs> too easy, yes. It, it, another no, topic, another, another vocabulary. And the, the, the teacher was, were, were, was different. And now I'm I'm feel good because uh, you do the best for us and you you try to help a lot, the a lot. The, in fact, the last teacher they never do that. For example, a couple of minutes with the with 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 us to to help for something like you, right? Yes. Yes. Thanks for for that. Uh, no problem. No problem. Yes. yes no. And no. I, if you. If you have more questions about it later on, I mean, because with this one and I, I don't know the other one, uh, two point four five, I think it is. Wait, three, two, three, four, five. Two point five might be difficult too, because it's okay. still with the. Wait, how can I use that? I'm 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 gonna try to do the, the the test by myself, and if I got if I get some 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 issues yeah. or some problems with that, I'm going to to ask for your help. Yeah, of course. You can uh, get in touch with me through the WhatsApp group or you can uh, text me directly. Okay, perfect. Yes. Thanks. Right. And well, I hope you, you. you will, will get better. 
Well, yes, I hope so too. It's I think it's some allergy and some uh I don't know, but I feel weak and uh some kind of fever. Yes, but like I say, I'm physically speaking, I'm not really good, but emotionally and all of it is okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Thank for your right. help a lot. Yes, Bob. Thank you for staying, Mauricio. No, uh, yes. Thank you for staying. All right. I will see you. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night and rest. All right. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.